Some of you in other parts of the country, like Arizona or Texas, may be wondering why Easterners can't take the hot weather. The fact is, highly concentrated urban areas like the concrete jungle of New York City are more affected by extreme heat. Elaine Quijano explains why. On a rooftop high above New York City, the temperature hovers around 180 degrees. 180 degrees, the highest temperature I've seen on roofs. But just a few feet away in these plants, it's a relatively cool 110. Oh, look at that. You've shaved off 70 degrees. This is what's called the urban heat island effect, when everything from buildings to sidewalks to rooftops and roads absorb the sun's heat and trap it. 138 approximately. That's right pretty now. intense already. Then there's the added heat generated by traffic, air conditioners, and even people's own body heat. Uh, the accumulation of the heat in the city has trouble leaving the city at night. Without adequate green space to help cool the atmosphere, highly populated urban areas essentially become their own overheated microclimates. It's completely man-made. It's the way we've transformed the landscape in cities. We've transformed it about as profoundly as you can. In New York, the overnight low was 77 degrees, while an hour away it was a cool 60. Boston was 74, while suburban Andover was 61. Washington, D.C. dipped to 77, while nearby Alexandria dropped to 69. As we talk about vegetation, it just drops dramatically. Uh, 105, 106. Dr. Stuart Gaffin and his Columbia University students are studying the cooling effects of planting on rooftops. With green roofs, we've discovered the equivalent of the street tree. After nearly a decade of research, he believes it's possible to undo what man has done. These services are just sitting there waiting to harbor vegetation and do their job. Now here in Times Square and in other places around New York City, the professor says there is enough roof space where gardens could do the work of more than 20 tree-filled central parts. That, Katie, could make a difference on a day like today. Elaine Keanu, thanks very much, Elaine. Of course, the